Hello everyone, my name is Jackie Hutchison. Welcome to Yoga at the Museum of Art. Please find a comfortable seated position to begin. Ideally, um, perhaps on the floor, if that's available to you, mostly because we probably don't get on the floor unless uh, we have reason. Um, but you could also sit in a chair. If you are sitting on the floor, place your left shin in front of your right. Feel free to use any props or pillows under your pelvis. And just adjust the spine to sit up tall. We're going to do um, some yoga for the neck and shoulders today. I'm not sure if, if you ever feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, but... We're going to try to alleviate some of that sense. So invite your eyes to close just to start. You might place your palms on your knees or your thighs. With intention, release the shoulder blades down the back. Soften through the belly. And invite your breath to come all the way down into the belly. With each inhale, feel the softening of the belly. With each exhale, feel the belly gently draw in. Just stay with the sensations of the breath. If the mind starts to wander, Come back to the sensations of the breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And then gently opening eyes. We're gonna start by rounding the shoulders. So let's allow, uh, bring the shoulders up toward the ears, roll them back, down and away, and forward and up. So just in one direction here, rounding, rolling the shoulders backwards, just nice easy rolls of the shoulder, shoulders. Keep doing that. Just nice, easy breath. See if you can feel the shoulder blades moving as you round the shoulders and roll them back. And then let's reverse direction. So now the shoulders rolling forward. Again, really tuning into the sensations of the shoulder blades moving along the rib cage as you roll the shoulders up forward, down, back, and just continue to roll the shoulders forward. Nice. And then gently pausing. You might again adjust the posture to be nice and tall. Bend the elbows, touch the fingertips onto the tips of the shoulders. And now we're going to make large circles as if we were doing it with our elbows. So bringing the elbows toward the front, toward in front of you, making big, big circles, rolling them up and out toward the sides, and then forward and up again. So big circles forward with the elbows, fingertips still on the shoulders here. Nice, big, full movement. And again, I want you to think about your shoulder blades on your back as you're doing this. Good. And then pause and let's reverse. So bringing um, elbows together in front. This time they're going to drop down to the sides, out to the sides, up and overhead, and then down the front. So big circles with the elbows, fingertips still on the shoulders. Just a few more. And then pausing here. Release the fingertips to the sides. Let's inhale, lift the shoulders up toward the ears. Really lift them. And then 
Just in an instant, drop the shoulders away from the ears. A couple more times. Inhale, lifting the shoulders up toward the ears. Lift, 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 and then release. Again, lift the shoulders up toward the ears and release. Nice. From here, reach the arms up overhead. So we're gonna bend the elbows so that we can press the palms together overhead. You want your left palm in front of your right. And then extend through the elbows. So we're pressing the palms together as we press overhead here. You want your biceps to be alongside your ears and we're pressing away. If you need to, you could shift your um, biceps to in front of your ears, so forward a little bit if you need some more space. Let's go ahead and bend the elbows, so as if the, uh, we're, the heels of the hands coming toward the top of the head, so we're bending the elbows, and then press the palms away again, up toward the sky. So our palms are pressed together. You might interlace the hands if you can. Nice. So we're bending and straightening the elbows here. Nice. One more time. Let's go ahead and bend the elbows and just feel that stretch through the wrists. Nice. Now go ahead and extend the elbows again. This time we're going to twist to the left. So this is with your whole torso. Elbows are extended, biceps alongside the ears. We're twisting to the right. And now let's release the bind. So your right, the, the back of your right hand is going to be on the outside of your left knee, left fingertips behind your left hip. Nice tall spine. We're twisting to the left here. You can uh, release your jaw and neck, soften through the right shoulder, the left shoulder. And now keeping this twist of the spine, look uh, toward your left knee and keeping your chin parallel to the ground, bring your right ear toward your right shoulder. So keep pressing the back of the right hand into the left knee, right ear toward the right shoulder. And now we're just gonna tweak this a little bit. Just gently look down toward your right, uh, sorry, your, well, your right or your left heel. So see if you can find the sweet spot here. We want a nice stretch through the left side of the neck. So now maybe we release the chin down. Nice. And then go ahead and come back up and untwist so we're back to center. Walk your fingertips. We're sitting still crisscross applesauce, left shin in front. Walk your fingertips out in front and just come over as if we're doing this forward fold over our crossed legs. Release the head here. Arms extend, lift the elbows here, be strong through the elbows and the arms. Nice, then go ahead, walk your fingertips back up toward your shins, come to a seated position again, upright, left hand out to the left side here, elbow is straight. We're gonna reach the right arm up overhead. So this is a bit of a side stretch for the right side. Maybe you can bend your left elbow and have it touch the mat. If you can't, that's okay. Keep the neck strong here. Don't allow your head to dangle. <laughs> and in fact, you might spin and look up toward your right elbow here, but only if that's okay for your neck. Or maybe you're still looking straight ahead if that's what's most comfortable for your neck. Now release your right hand 
and you're going to point it toward the wall on your right side. So keep your left, um, your head in neutral. Press the right arm away. And see if you can feel some stretch through your neck. Now go ahead and come back up to seated. So now we're sitting upright. Stretch, uh, allow your right ear to move down toward your right shoulder. Stretch that right arm away. And now we're gently going to bend the right elbow, place it over the head as if you were going to pull the left side of your face, your left ear, toward your right shoulder. So we're gently using the right arm to encourage this right side bend of the, the neck. Extend your left arm out to the side and make small circles in one direction with the left hand. Reverse the direction. You can also take that left hand and bend it behind your lower back. So bending the left elbow, the back of your hand presses against your lower back. With the right hand still overhead, giving some resistance to the left side of the face, push into that with your head. So just a little bit of isometric. So push your left ear into your right hand, resist that movement, and then release the effort. And again, push the left ear into the right hand, the right hand into the left ear, release, and then release the left hand from the back, go come back to center, sit up tall, and let's switch. So the right shin is in front. We're going to reach the arms up overhead. This time the right palm is in front. We're going to um, bend the elbows. The right hand is in front, so palms face each other. And we're going to press the arms up overhead. Nice tall posture. Bend and straighten the elbows here. So we're releasing the wrists down toward the top of the head, and then we're pressing the hands away. Palms, we're interlaced through the hands here. Palms pressed together, and then bending the elbows. Feel that stretch through the wrists. Nice tall spine. And then pressing the palms up, straightening the elbows. We're gonna twist to the right. Nice. And then releasing the bind of the hands, the back of the left hand comes to the outside of the right knee, right fingertips behind or by the right hip, sitting up nice and tall, we're twisting to the right. Release the head, you might look just a bit further with the, with the head. Nice tall posture here. And then turning the head back to center or, to, or over so your gaze is over your right knee. Still sitting up tall, left back of left palm still pressing into the outside of the right knee. Drop the left ear toward the left shoulder. Nice tall posture here. Breathe, soften the shoulders away from the ears. And now you're going to gently drop your, your chin down toward your chest as if you were going to look through center and over maybe toward even your left knee, maybe just down toward your heels. We're just tweaking this stretch a little bit. Keep breathing here. Use that left hand, the outside of it, pressing into the right knee to help lift the posture. And then lift the chin, come back to center, untwist yourself, facing forward. Let's go ahead and walk the fingertips in front. Again, elbows stay lifted. You can release the forehead to the mat, but stay strong with the arms here. 
in this uh, cross-legged forward fold. Keep pressing down into the palms and now gently walk the fingertips back up, sitting up tall. Right hand comes out to the right side. Left hand sweeps up. It faces the wall over to your right and a nice side bend here. Maybe you can bend and rest the right elbow all the way to the mat. Maybe not. Whatever you can do today. You might spin and face uh, and look up toward the left elbow here, but only if that's comfortable for your neck. And then releasing the, um, the left arm to press toward the wall to your left. Right ear comes toward the right shoulder as you gently bring yourself back up to seated. Once you're upright and seated, left ear toward the left shoulder, reach around with the left arm and gently encourage just a bit more stretch. Right arm out stretches from the right shoulder and just make small circles in one direction with that outstretched strong right shoulder circle circles in the other direction. Remembering to be gentle with the left hand here. We don't want to crank on the neck. We're just encouraging a little bit more stretch. You can also, if you did this on the other side, you might bring the right hand behind your right back. So the back of your hand is pressing into your lower back. And then let's do two isometrics. So with the left hand right where it is, we're going to resist lifting the head up to center. So we're pressing into the left hand. The head is pressing into the left hand. Left hand pressing into the head. And then release the effort. And then one more time. Hand stays where it is. Press the, the I, I guess it's the right ear into the left hand, left hand into the right ear, and then release the effort. Nice, and then go ahead, release any bit of stretch with the neck, with the left hand, release the bind of the right. If you have that behind you, go ahead and just lift your shoulders toward your ears, maybe rounding them forward and back. Nice. Come back to a centered, neutral, seated position. Invite your eyes to gently close. Placing the palms on the thighs or the knees, soften the jaw. Breathe in, breathe out. Resting the tip of the tongue at the roof of the mouth, just behind the front teeth, but not touching the teeth, helps to invite the jaw to relax. So experiment with that position of the tongue. Come back to the sensations of breathing. Allow your awareness to expand here to the sensations of sound that might be around you. Can you keep 40% of your awareness on your breath and open your senses to be aware of any sounds 
maybe within your room, maybe from upstairs or outside. No need to stretch or yearn to find the sound. Just notice how the sound finds you. Stay curious and present. If your mind should become captured by thought, simply bring it back to the breath giving it the task of tracing the sensations of inhalations and exhalations. You might ramp up the breath just a little bit, put a little oomph into it. As you do, just soften back, welcoming again the sensations of sound Returning the tip of the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Nowhere to go. Nothing to do. No goal to accomplish. Just breathe. I'll time us for one additional minute of pausing. Gently coming back to the breath if the mind has wandered. And now, perhaps gently opening the eyes Just taking it all in, taking a moment to offer some appreciation to yourself for making this time to pause and stretch. And I thank you as well. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy.